Hello, it's Christina. Now for Razor Pop's Music Day today, we are discussing the possibility of pushing one of Asia's top singers onto the US stage. Mm, our guests today are Ying Min from Lianhe Wan Bao, Sheila from Tabla and Jimmy from Radio 913. Yep, now so far we've been mentioning how tough it is for Asians to conquer the US, but mm. surely we must have some edge over the rest, right? Mm, Sheila, what do you think is the Asian advantage? Yeah, Asian advantage. I think mm. it's, you know, Introducing a new sound, mm -hmm. I think. Um, I think the mistake that most Asian singers make is aping the West mm. completely, mm -hmm. and I don't think you should do that. Mm. Um, I think introducing a new sound, introducing um, a new look mm -hmm. uh, to the market. I mean, because the market is so saturated. Some there are days where I can't tell Mandy Moore and Britney Spears apart. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah. You know, mm. it's so saccharine, sugary. Yeah, and it's so homogeneous sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that might be an advantage. Mm. You know, bringing a different look and a sound to it. And what do you mean by like you know the Asian sound? Is it you you should like India is very distinct. The Chinese also is very, very distinct. distinct. Yeah, Japan, Japanese they have their own like you know um, traditional music. Yeah, so I think if you listen to the non-mainstream uh, music, you know mm. that's the non-pop music there's a lot of fusion work going on there mm. and you know and it's not they they combine western instruments with asian instruments with uh the chinese instruments with indian drums with mm. you know uh japanese drums and and you know it works on that level but you know it's always considered new age music mm. so i think that possibility i think what i'm i hope this is my wish list mm -hmm. that that sound comes into the mainstream Mm. Music world, you know. Mm. I'm very, very sick of listening to vanilla. <laughs> 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 no, I want something different. I don't get different. Uh -huh. And I think you have that. And it's not to say that the Asian, you know, uh, Boa and Utada, you know, they can bring the wealth mm. of their experience in Asia, mm. Mm -hmm. the sound that they, they work with. Mm. I mean, Asian singers work with Western uh, instruments as well, Western styles of uh, musical production, mm -hmm. you know. True. So that combination of you know, experience of sound can, you know, you can bring it into the mainstream. Mm. Um, yeah, you're right. Um, but I want to bring up another point because yeah. just, now to, just now you were saying that you don't want to be too different too because you want to assimilate into the American mm. pop culture. Well, having said that, America is mm. also looking for something different. Yeah, yeah. I think so you, I, I want to be... Yeah, I think you have to, mm -hmm. you have to do it well. You have, it has to be a yeah, balance. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, hey. Correct. Mm. Because, you know, um, I read, I heard about what critics said about mm. um, Utada and Boaz, you know, their new album, when they were talking about it, they were actually saying that, you know, we have Britney Spears, we don't need another Korea Britney Spears. True. Ah. So, mm. you are singing the kind of music that we already have, you are, mm. you are portraying a, the kind of image, you know, that mm. our singers already have. So, what is so mm. I mean, unique about you? Yeah, what is so unique about you? Why do the American talent right. is jaded. Mm. 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 So, what, what are you bringing to the table that is new, mm. fresh, mm. And you know, will make people go, "Wow, that pops." Mm. Mm. Okay, Jimmy, what about like for radio? Mm. Like, you know, what what kind of voice or, or music would capture the the uh, listeners' attention? Um, I think it's like what you said, oh, Sheila Shack. It's like mm. because I think normally if you actually catch like a person's attention, it's actually the kind of music that's actually different from the rest. It's like let's mm. say if every day I would play like English songs on the radio station, and suddenly mm. I have this like Chinese or Korean songs that actually being played on the well and mm. wave, right? I think people tend to actually take notice as, as mm. compared to like having a, like what it says like having another like Britney Spears or mm. you know, another person that is similar in the market and somehow people are just thinking it's like I have an Amer American that's actually doing this kind of music so I don't mm. need someone else that's doing similar things and if I just have like $20 to buy a CD mm. I think I'll just spend it on American just to help you know this, this American <laughs> you know to actually mm. build up his fame or her fame mm. so I don't think so you should actually kind of copy their style Mm. You should have like, your own oh, unique style. style. Yeah. Something mm. that you know you can sell easily. Mm. I'll give you an example. Uh, mm. There's this uh, music producer who's a Bangra music producer in the UK. Mm. He remixed Britney Spears' uh, one of Britney Spears' tracks um, some time ago and added a Bangra touch to it and mm. was big in, in the UK mm. because it was a different sound. I mean, it's Britney Spears still, but mm. you know, it was huge. And for me, it's. Um, that's what I want to hear. I want to hear something different on the mm. radio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm. So does it mean that they don't even have to speak good English? You know, bad diction. It it might be an advantage to them. You know, because English has always <laughs> been a problem. Even to people like Jackie Chan. Me, and, uh, 
See, Jackie is different. Jackie is <laughs> strong. This, like you know, his his muscle Jackie, muscle. <laughs> Jackie comes across as very charming, mm-hmm. even mm. in his bad English. <laughs> <laughs> bad. Yeah, but so you know, but he is, he's um, his experience and his expertise in mm. his martial arts mm. right. is the one that people want to watch. You mm. see, the martial mm. arts. Yeah, I, I think the kung fu guys have it easier. Yeah, yeah. Jackie, yeah. Jet Li, all the work. Yeah. All they need to you have to be able to fight. fight to be able I think again, it's kind of different because it's yes. like Americans. They are not well versed in Ch- Chinese Jackie. kung fu, Correct. so to them, it's like it's something new. Yes. Yes. So this is why it catches their attention. Yeah. And it's something mm. they they are not very well versed. Yeah. In yeah. yeah. See, Hollywood mm. has a very different. It's a mm. whole other story anyway. Mm. That's an entirely different show. Mm. But <laughs> with the music market, you know, it's... You, I think you do need to speak good English. Mm. I think you do... You know, I do you need to speak Americanized English. Or I mean, at, I mean, at I least mean, English they could understand. Right? Yeah. Simple English that at least they could understand. Yeah, as far as yeah. I'm concerned, they'll still put subtitles <laughs> for them yeah. anyway. So. so I guess we have to put in a little bit of a traditional Asian kind of music. I think they need like to balance out who mm, they are. Mm. I, don't, I don't think they should be rejecting their heritage 100%. Mm. You know, mm. and, uh, and embracing hip-hop. Because embrace, people can tell that's not you. People mm. can tell you're not comfortable because that's not you, and mm. it, it shows so clearly. Mm. You know, okay. I think they should, like uh, she said, it should, it, means that it should be a balance. Yeah, mm. let that be a tip for whoever wants to break into the American music and get on the Ryan Seacrest show. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what, what, what up? It's Razor Pop Love.